I'm gonna show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Spotify Connect device. I have a Raspberry Pi 4B here connected via the three and a half millimeter jack to a speaker. Some applications for this project would be a speaker that's in your garage, that's maybe an old speaker without Bluetooth or not a convenient aux port. Then you have your Raspberry Pi connecting into the speaker and you can just control it from your phone whenever you want to play music if you want to or not. This is a cheaper alternative to those expensive Sonos systems or some inconvenient switching Bluetooth with your different speakers wherever you are. This way you can just go on your Spotify app, click connect to garage speaker, and then you're there. A quick note before getting started, this does require Spotify premium. I don't know why, but that's what Spotify lets us do. Onto the project. I'm going to be using this GitHub repository, Spotify D, pretty reputable, 5.9 thousand stars, and a simple installation. Here are the instructions. They even have specific installation instructions for Raspberry Pi. Start up, we are going to get releases from this website. I already have it open, and you got some options here. ARMHF, ARMv6, what do we choose? We need to get into our Raspberry Pi to figure that out. I'm going to SSH into my Raspberry Pi. Maybe you're already using your Raspberry Pi as a desktop. If that's the case, just open a terminal. SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi, then my password. And we need to figure out if we have ARMv6, ARMv7, and how do we do that? Run the command uname-m. It looks like I'm running ARMv7. Maybe you're running it says ARCH64 or ARMv8. That's the new 64 gigabyte architecture for Raspberry Pi. It's backwards compatible, so you can just pick the same one as me. Okay, back here, I don't see any options for ARMv7. That's because ARMHF is synonymous with ARMv7, so I'm going to pick that one, the tar.gz. If you have ARMv6, pick the ARMv6 tar.gz. How do you pick it? Let's hover over copy link address. That's going to copy this address that's down in the bottom right corner, left corner, of my browser. Back in the terminal, let's run the command wget webget that. Okay, all downloaded. You can see if I ls my home directory, that's the file I just downloaded. Now let's unzip that file. tar X for extract, V to tell me all the information, Z I'm gonna use gzip, and then F my file name, spot to, and tab to autocomplete, enter. Great, now if I ls, I have this Spotify D thing, and I'm going to delete the tar.gz. RM for remove, Spotify D dash, whoops, D dash tab, enter. And now it's gone, I just have my Spotify D file. What next? Back to the instructions. We're gonna skip down. Let's make our config file. Before we do anything, we need to run the command aplay-l. I'm gonna go side by side here. A play dash L. What am I looking at? These are all your audio devices. It can be a lot, but I'm running off my headphone jack, my three and a half millimeter jack. So my device is called HW. Maybe you have a USB, that's gonna be USB stream or HDMI, that's going to be, you guessed it, HDMI. Great. So, copy this first one, make directory, whoops, copy the wrong thing. Control C, paste. Okay, made the directory and now we're gonna make the config file. I'm not running as root, so I need to go sudo before that command. Right click to paste, copy all of this, copy, and then paste it all over here. What did I say? My device is called hw, in quotes. Here we go, we can change our device name be careful, do not include any spaces. Raspberry underscore pi. My bitrate is gonna be 96, feel free to experiment with that. And now my username and password. Control S to save, control X to exit. Okay, now that we got the config file, 
we're actually ready to test. That's all there is to it. This command right here under the download option, dot dash Spotify D dash dash no daemon, right click to paste, enter. We gotta get Spotify playing some music. Okay, it's playing off my computer right now. Now if we look at devices, there we go, Raspberry Pi. Awesome. And I have a, another Raspberry Pi actually here, but if you remember, I had the PI with the two, two capitals on there. Let's go back, Control C. We're not done yet. Now we want to make this so that it runs in the background using the daemon file. So here we go. We have a website here that we need to get our system service file. So I'm going to go to that website. Oh, what's wrong here? Ah, uh, I didn't copy the whole thing. Copy, paste. Now let's copy all of this, control C. And now we're going to run sudo nano etc system d user spotify d dot service. Enter. Okay. So I've already pasted this in here. And you're going to go down to exact start here and put this wherever that Spotify D file was. If you remember, that was in my home directory. So home dash pi, maybe you put it somewhere else. Just change that path to wherever Spotify D lives. Control S to save, control X to exit. Here you go. If you want to do it as user, Follow this command instead. And now let's make it so that we can do it whenever we restart the service. So copy that, paste here, and let's see if that pi shows up here. Yep, it shows up. So that's a good sign. And now we got to do it at boot. This is going to be a username, so that's going to be pi for me. Copy, paste, and then Pi, my username, enter. Now the second one, copy, paste, enter. Now if I restart my Pi, this should work. Sudo reboot. Just to verify, back on the here. Oh, and it just showed up. That means my Pi is rebooted. If I click play again, switch devices. You can hear the audio quality change and that's because it's on my tiny speaker now. Pause that. And there you go, that's all there is to it. The world is your oyster with this application. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and happy coding.